A new allegation of sexual assault is being made against actor Jeremy Piven today. An advertising executive is alleging that the former Entourage star sexually assaulted her. Tiffany Bacon Scorby tells People she decided to come forward after reality TV star and Playboy playmate Ariane Bellamar accused Piven of sexual assault. Piven has unequivocally denied those allegations. Over the course of multiple phone calls over several days, Scorby, who is based in Washington, D.C., shared her recollections of her interactions with Piven, whom she claims to have met in October 2003 when she was in New York City for an event. She tells People, he was very nice to me. He mentioned he was going to tape an appearance on Late Night with Conan O'Brien the next day and gave me his number and asked me to go with him as a guest. Scorby says nothing happened that night, but the next morning after her work meeting, she met him around 11 a.m. at the Trump International Hotel and Tower where he was staying. Her story gets pretty explicit from here. She says, quote, I remember I was wearing this white ribbed turtleneck and brown slacks business attire. I was sitting right next to him on the couch. Scorby says we were talking for about five minutes and he said he was waiting for his publicist to come with us. Suddenly he jumped on top of me. I tried to push him off and he forced me to the ground. She says Piven exposed his genitals and began rubbing them against her body. She says she remained clothed the entire 15 minutes of her time in his suite, but quote, he held down my hands and ejaculated all over my white turtleneck. Afterwards, she says, I pushed him off of me and ran down the short hallway to get to the door. She continues saying, I rubbed my chest against the wall to get his semen off of my sweater. I ran outside and hailed a cab and I just burst into tears. I cried the entire way back to my hotel. Scorby says she called a longtime friend from the cab and recounted what had happened. And that friend has since corroborated this version of events to people. She returned to her hotel to shower before catching a train back home to Washington, D.C. And she says, I just cried on the train the whole way back. In the 14 years since the incident, Scorby got married, became a mother, and never thought about saying anything about the incident until she saw Piven's fervent denial of Bellamar's allegations. In a statement to People, Piven categorically denies Scorby's account, saying, let me be absolutely clear, this simply did not happen. I would never force myself on a woman ever. I cannot speak as to why a person would create a story like this. A representative for Piven states that if the actor were to take a polygraph test, it would have clearly proven that this allegation to be entirely fabricated, a complete lie. He's now looking at legal options. That's a quote. Stay on People.com for more details on this developing story.